We started spending a bunch of time just kind of whiteboarding out how is this going to work, arguing about, you know, the details of what would and wouldn't make sense and, you know, how could we collect enough data and all that kind of stuff. What's it going on the roof of the uh, parking garage and flying drones and stuff like that. And then he left me and he reached out one day and said, hey, I've got this idea. I'm going to be back in town. This was like January of 2020. So right before COVID hit, I've got this idea I want to show it to you. We met at a coffee shop, the kind of the very earliest uh, prototypes of gone through dozens of prototypes on his own, but this was a model of, of what he wanted to build and the idea kind of struck me as a no-brainer. And I'm working at Magic Leap, which has these yeah. augmented reality yeah. glasses, and I load up the model of, of this thing I want to build, which I have not built at full scale, but you just blow it up to full yeah. scale, and I throw it in the middle of the coffee shop, and I go, Dylan, put this headset on. This is his first time in a Magic Leap headset because no one had seen it much before then. And in the middle of this coffee shop, you could still see the coffee shop around you, but then 